Alright guys, what's up? Welcome back. So, if you guys are new here, my name is Jason, and uh, I run a, uh, a hotshot trucking company. It's just me, it's a one-man band, and, um, you know, things have been going pretty well for me. So, I feel like it's my obligation to address what's going on on the internet, um, only because I don't feel like it's, um, it's so fair um, to Toe Piglet himself, and here, like, before we get into it, guys, alright, I am simply stating facts, I am not taking sides, and I don't have any animosity towards any of the people involved in this. So, is I'm simply reporting the news and, uh, you know, the facts of what's going on. So, first of all, I want to say, um, Hotshot Benny did a great video about how we're all the same and um, I feel like he did a lot of explaining in that um, and he did a great job and he made a lot of good points about the situation going on so like I said I'm not pointing fingers I don't really care but my inbox is flooded with hey can you make a response you know what's going on with this situation uh, we want to know how you feel on it and uh Figured I'd do it here on the podcast, just I'm in the office right now, and I figure why there's no better time, why not just go for it. So, let's all, let's go back to the beginning of everything. Everybody's channels. Everybody that was looking to get into the business. You know, you hop on the internet, and um, you get on YouTube, and you, you know, you type in, um... How to get started in Hotshot. Let's start with that. There's a few channels that come up, you know. Alex comes up to Piglet, and uh, he's making videos in his, I think you want to say like a 15 Ram 3500 single rear wheel truck. And uh, when I started following Alex, he didn't even show his face in his videos. It was all like driving footage and him talking behind the camera. That's how long it's been. So, I mean, I... I admit I watched Alex's channel when I first started or even before I started and he and his channel kind of made me, you know, want to make a YouTube channel. So, you know, you you get back on, you search, you know, how to hotshot. Hotshot Dave comes up. You know, Dave was when I started following Dave, I think he might have had a wedge and that uh third gen Dodge, the blue one, and uh you know, I started watching Dave's videos. You know, seeing what Dave's doing out there. And at this time, I started really getting into YouTube, so I started actually doing some more, you know, digging in and checking out other channels and things like that. So, you know, come across the Robert with Hot, hot uh, South Georgia Hotshot, come across his channel. Now, I can't tell you exactly when I came across his channel, if I was already in business or not, but, you know, um, those are the three... Well, well, we'll keep going. So, you know, we check out Robert South Georgia Hotshot, and then uh, you know you keep doing research, and you come across, you know, you come across Dream Inspired. You know, uh, Jason. How can I forget his name? My name is Jason too. Uh, Jason's making videos at this point. I think he might have had his thirty-five hundred Ram. I don't think he had the sleeper truck yet when I was um, when I started following him. And then of course he gets the sleeper truck. That blows up the hotshot internet, which is a gorgeous truck, and, uh, you know, wish I could have seen him take that down the road a little more than he did and get a better review on that, but I'm sure he's pretty happy he didn't do that knowing it's a 5th gen Cummins, and he hopped over into the semi world and seems to be doing great, so, you know, good for you, Jason. You know, you keep going down the rabbit hole of, of hotshot, and, uh, you know, you come across Terry, you know, the rat man. The old rat man over there in Texas living his best life. You know, I started following him. And, you know, honestly, I didn't didn't really follow him for hotshot content. He's a character and he's hilarious. And uh, he makes, he puts out very quality, well put together content. It's entertaining. And, uh, you know, sometimes you need a good laugh. And he did a, you know, a great job at that. You know, then I came along in the YouTube world and, uh, you know... I started to make videos that, and you know, how to do this, how to do that, and you know, I was really just out there for, you know, to get my name out there, and 
potentially make I uh, saw Alex's success on YouTube and I wanted to potentially make a bigger channel and make some money off the YouTube thing you know and it wasn't just always the money with YouTube it was I don't make that much money off of YouTube now but uh, the connections that I've made you know the friendships I've made the customers that I've gotten and things like that off of YouTube are pretty you know are worth more than any re ad revenue I'm currently getting so let's fast forward to I start my channel and um, this is when Alex was doing the Hotshot News Network. Now, Alex did the Hotshot News Network when I had, I remember I was at the Outer Banks and I had put out a video, I don't know what it was, but I was at the Outer Banks and I had gone to the beach with my now wife and my family and uh, my phone kept going off. You know, I had my uh, phone hooked up to the JBL speaker, and it kept going off. And I'm like, why the heck's my phone going off? Well, come to find out, Alex had put out a Hotshot News Network, and he had featured me on there. At this point, I had like 180 subs or something around there. And that took my channel from 180 subs to probably 700-ish within 48 hours. You know, he was pulling in views, and I don't know what video I put out. It must have been something that people were interested in, and I had a lot of people come over and sub to me. You know, so I, I and I'm doing it now. I have a channel that's under a 1,000 subs, so I know how hard it is to get from that zero to a 1,000 and get to that point of being monetized. I know how hard it is. You know, so if it wasn't for Alex, I probably wouldn't have been monetized for at least another year. And I'm, you know, I'm thankful for that. I've made shout outs to him and was, you know, very happy with, you know, and gracious that he would do that for me. So that's the backstory. You know, that's me on YouTube. That's how I got into it. That's who I watched. And that's where we are, you know, from the beginning. You know, so now my channel's got 7,000 subs, which isn't a lot, but that's enough for me. And uh, I'm making daily content over on my other channel. And uh, I have a blast over there. I've got people interacting. Everything's positive. People are having a good time. And uh, I love that channel. So when I have to hop on YouTube and I see nothing but, you know, negative, negative, negative in the hotshot community, it really just... You know, it strikes a nerve, and I don't care. I don't play into it. You know, Alex put the video out of, uh, you know, people were using my DOT number or my MC number, and I'm like, okay, well, let me check it out. It's public record. It's, you know, anybody can access it, so I did. And what I saw wasn't what he put out. But I didn't hop on the Internet to bash the guy, you know. So I was like, man... I, you know, maybe I missed something. Let me let me go back and watch the video. Now, mind you, I was working, so it took a couple hours for me to be able to go back and watch the video. So go back and watch, go to watch the video. It's not up anymore. So I refresh. I'm like, uh, you know, what's going on? And well, I noticed that it when I clicked on it, it said this video has been privated. I was like, hmm, okay, whatever, you know. And then I see that Dave had put up a response to that. And, you know, Bash and Toe Piglet, and it's kind of to the point where, you know, everybody's pointing the finger at Alex did this, Alex did that, I have all this information, you know, he's a terrible person, and, you know, blah, 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 blah. So in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, you know, something's fishy here, but, you know, hear the dude out. It's pretty much, you know, all you can do. So Alex puts out his other video, and, uh... Of talking about his business and how he has failed and this and that and this and that and um, it struck a nerve with me just because the whole you know loan and one hundred fifty thousand dollars how do you burn through that and just just because I'm in the business now I got to thinking and I uh, I didn't make a response video it's none of my business really so I had a conversation I'm not gonna name his name today just I don't know if he wants to be put out there like that so. You know, so I had a conversation today about this whole situation because he watches YouTube. He's a hot shot, and uh, you know he knows me. Uh, he has spoke with Toe Piglet and Alex before, and uh, you know I just like we just kind of get an idea of the situation that's going on, and uh, you know we're talking about it. And I'm like, you know what? 
businesses fail every day. You know, there's multi-million dollar corporations that close doors just because things aren't working. You know, and if that's what Alex wants to do, you know, by all means, you have 110,000 subscribers. You could probably diversify what you're doing and have people follow you and, you know, make a substantial living. He was making, you know, fourteen, fifteen thousand $15,000 a month on YouTube. Yeah, that's pretty easy to live off of if you if you don't have high expenses. So we had talked about that, and uh, you know, when you put yourself on YouTube, you really, um, you know, you're a public figure. And I don't like to use the word influencer very much because, you know, you you take, you know, the consumer takes what they want from it. I'm not really influencing it from you. You're influencing yourself off of my words. So, <clears throat> excuse me, so I, um, Alex puts himself out there, he's got, you know, 100,000 people obviously watching his content, and, uh, you know, a lot of people are in, have invested time and money into trying to get into Hotshot, which is great. You know, so he's got this following that is, you know, of the masses, and... When you put yourself out in the, you know, in the internet world like that, you're going to get backlash no matter what you're doing. You know, I follow, I watch a lot of YouTube, and it's not just hotshot. I watch a lot of comedy. I watch a lot of farming. It's just, it's all, I take it in as entertainment. And you go through the comments, and there's always somebody being negative about something, and that's just the world of the internet. That's, there's a lot of scum. There's a lot of shit you got to deal with, and... You know, you take that with a grain of salt and you keep moving. So when, you know, apparently everybody makes a response video and wants to, you know, say he's a bad person, he led all these people in the wrong direction, this and that, but, you know, what's the, what stats do you have behind you was led in the wrong direction, you know? I I spent all my money and my family's homeless now because of you, you know. Alex didn't have his finger on the button and pull the trigger for you. You know, you have to accept responsibility for that. So when all these people start making videos, it's all people that, you know, you're pretty much putting his name in the title. And they're just prying to try to get him to make a response or to try to expose him when I haven't seen any type of proof yet. And let me let me remind you guys, I'm just reporting on the facts. I'm not taking sides. I'm just giving credit where credit is due. So I haven't seen any type of facts yet. Now Dave says there's this whole big conspiracy of you know, money, like, legal issues, blah, 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 and, you know, you don't see any proof of it, so, I mean, at this point, it's pretty much slander, and I don't know if you know what the punishment for slander is, but if you really want to take it there, somebody could, when you're slandering somebody on the internet with no proof, so if you have the proof, show it, or just keep your mouth shut, there's no use in causing this animosity between everybody in the hotshot community now let me tell you this if i'm you know rolling down the road and i blow a tire and i pull over to the side of the road and uh you know it just so happens to be alex that pulls up behind me and he offers me help because that seems to be the person he is now you know he's a youtuber so him helping people on the side of the road is gonna get him more likes, more credit, and make him seem like a better person, which is great. That is what YouTube is about, you know. You've got to be likable. You've got to show the good. Sometimes you don't need to show the bad on YouTube, and, you know, if you do and you don't, who cares what kind of content you put out? Like, I don't get mad at, you know... Mr. Beast because Mr. Beast puts a video out of giving away a million dollars. Well, he's got eight videos that he just did before this that he didn't publish because they failed. I'm not going to get mad at him for not putting those videos out. 
So if you're catching what I'm saying there, it's like, yeah, you show the good on YouTube. Sometimes you show the bad, but if you're also running a business and helping people in the right direction, you're not going to want to show every single failure because with failures, there comes experience, there comes learning, and, you know, you pretty much have to, you know, take it as it is. Now, you got some people that, uh, you know, do owe a lot of credit to Alex of getting started on either YouTube in the business or you used to be best buddies with him, but now all of a sudden they're, you know, his worst enemy and the internet is, there's videos all over there, but you guys used to be best friends and now you're saying this is his whole legal issue, but there's no, there's no proof. So all I'm saying is show the proof or shut up. Stop slandering the guy because... Chances are, you know, you may be in a bind one day and you may need Alex. You may need Alex because of his connection. It might not be him personally, but you may need something or some help or you may be broke down. And with his platform, you could get help a lot easier. So I stay out of the drama, but I felt like I sat down and thought about everything for the past week, and I felt like I owe Alex credit for getting my channel off the ground. And there's a lot of other people that owe him credit for getting their channel off the ground, giving them an opportunity, helping them. They were in videos together. They did collaborations, and then now they're, you know, enemies, and there's no proof of why. But that's my response. Like I said, I'm here to report on the facts. I'm here to give credit where credit is due. If you don't like it, I don't really care. But if you do and you see where I'm coming from, I do appreciate that because I'm just here to state the facts. But with that being said, guys, see you on the next one.